Hey everybody, Scott Sprintzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Football Saturday, September 14, 2019. We've got a free pick coming up on this report, and don't forget about what's going on at DocSports.com. If you've yet to become a member at DocSports, all you got to do to give it a cool trial run is click on the link below this video. Get yourself set up for a free $60 account. Use those free $60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else for that matter over at DocSports.com. Again, free $60 account, and all you got to do to get started is click on the link below the video. Great way to give DocSports.com a trial run. Great time to do it if you haven't yet because it is football weekend Saturday and Sunday. And speaking of that, I've still got all nine plays going. I didn't play Thursday with premium plays. I didn't have a premium play on Friday. All nine plays still yet to go. Five from Saturday's college football led by the six-star play. Uh, four plays from Sunday's NFL led by the seven-star play. We won our top play in the NFL last week with New England, and we're looking to get right into a nice winning streak in college football after picking up a few units in the NFL this past weekend. Last year, week three is when we kicked it into gear in college football, and then we won nine out of ten regular season weeks to end the regular season in college football. We are on a 32-21 and 21 college football run with our last 53, 62-37 with a few pushes in the NFL. 63% winners with our last 103 NFL plays. And again, all nine plays are still available. First game on Saturday kicks off at 12 noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific, so don't miss out. Hey, listen, I'm also in CFL action on Saturday. One play this week in the CFL, and uh, we look to extend our 60% season in the Canadian Football League. We are 111 and 77 long term in the CFL. Don't miss out. That play also available right now. UFC, I've got two plays for Saturday's card, and both will be posted at 11 p.m. Pacific on Friday night. So if you're watching this a little before 11 p.m., just wait till 11 p.m. Pacific. If you're watching this after 11 p.m., just make sure you grab the plays, the fights before the fight card starts UFC on ESPN 16. Two fights for you available right now. And don't forget about NASCAR. 14 and four runs, seven and one our last eight, but the 14 and four goes all the way back to early May. We're talking four and a half months. And we've produced over $4,500 during this run. Going to have my NASCAR plays Saturday night, 11 p.m. Pacific for Sunday's race right here in Las Vegas, race number one of the NASCAR playoffs. We'll look to go to at least 15 and four. I know we'll have one play, possibly two, and I'll tell you more about it on Sunday's video. All right, listen, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get right to college football. Almost used TCU, Purdue. Thought about jumping in on TCU, but here's the thing. Uh, with Purdue quarterback Sindelar still listed as questionable, some saying he's going to play, some saying he won't with that concussion. We just decided Decided to stay away from that football game and uh, we're going to jump into UCLA and Oklahoma and we don't lay lumber a lot in college football uh, we did last week with Texas Tech we got a half point win Whew. we're going to here with Oklahoma they're laying 23 and a half 24 and a couple of the books but for the most part 23 and a half you know why we like Oklahoma you know about the offense you know about Jalen Hurts all that good stuff and the fact that this team is always in position or put in the position to have success their best success on the offensive side out of the football but it's more than just that it's UCLA and their lack of offensive cohesion when Chip Kelly got hired at UCLA when Scott Frost got hired at Nebraska I said give these guys four years till their fourth season and then I think we'll see the true measure of both of these coaches Chip Kelly doesn't have the right pieces in place yet it's been evident against both against both Cincinnati and against San Diego State and they lost both of those games the offense 127th in total yards per game they're equally bad passing the football and running the football. It's as simple as that. Listen, I know Oklahoma's defense is no great shakes, but I don't think UCLA has the goods to keep up with OU's offense and to hang this number. Besides the fact that like Oklahoma in this game, I really want them, not just because of this uh, video pick right now, but also long-term thinking down the road. I really want Oklahoma to win big here. I want them to take care of business next week against Texas Tech and to hopefully blow out Kansas after that because that means we're gonna have all these offensive stats that are gonna look so darn juicy to the public, to the mass media, the non-betting media. They're all gonna be talking about the Oklahoma Sooners and their Heisman leading candidate, 
quarterback, Jalen Hurts. And I tell you what, if he keeps playing the way he has and does so these next three games before they get to the Red Rivalry, uh, excuse me, the Red River Rivalry with Texas, we used to call it the Red River Shootout in my day. And uh, anyway, when we weren't wimps. And so it's the Red River Rivalry is what it's called now. And so here's the deal. Jalen Hurts continues to put up numbers. Oklahoma continues to put up big numbers and win by wide margins. We're very likely to get some nice value on Texas in about three games after this one. So let's hope they wipe out UCLA for spread reasons and for down the road reasons and then take care of Texas Tech in Kansas. And then listen, I think Oklahoma is good enough to play for a national title. Don't get me wrong. I think they should be one of the top three or four ranked teams in college football right now. Having said all of that, I just think value wise against the spread, they're going to be a little overhyped if they blow out these next three opponents before they get to Texas. And then we might be able to take advantage with the Longhorns, who obviously people are going to remember giving up 45 points in a loss to LSU. All right, there you go. Oklahoma Sooners minus the points over UCLA is our free pick. Don't forget right now, five college football plays, four Sunday NFL plays, all nine plays available right now. First kickoff is 12 noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific on Saturday. Six star play leads college football. Seven star play leads the NFL. And we look to have a big weekend and hope you will also. And again, CFL available right now. UFC will be available after 11 p.m. Pacific on Friday. Let's get a big weekend card going. Let's get going in college football. Let's win again in the NFL and take advantage of a couple of great spots on the UFC card. All right, listen, if you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put college football Saturday in the win column, and I'll be right back here Sunday. We're going to try to get Sunday's video up no later than 1 a.m. Eastern on Sunday, 10 p.m. Pacific, Saturday night, so we get you a free pick out there and plenty of time to watch it for Sunday's NFL. We'll talk to you then. Best of luck on Saturday.